Welcome back, guys, to the Citadel DLC, where we attempt to hopefully turn the party up in some way or another. And see if Glyph can do anything. Your guests appear to be getting rowdy, Commander. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? The party's just starting. Let's turn it up. At your service, Commander. Where are all the guests now? Hey, everyone's gone all over the place. Can we come in? No, you can't. Go away. Okay. Grant is just marshalling the door. Uh, we could allow more people in. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll decide that later. I'm just wondering where everyone is exactly. What are you two doing? This hasn't really turned out that much. Sweetheart. We never really talked about it. But you and me have a lot in common. We do. Of course we do. We're both hunters, right? I suppose we are. And? And, well... And we're both good looking. Hello, Shepard. Zaid was just keeping me company. Hello there. You're admiring the art? Beauty, as they say, is in the eye of the beholder. Hey, Shepard. Hey, beautiful. What do you think, Samara? Hang on, hang on. Don't get all snooty on me. I didn't say I didn't like it. I do like it, actually. If I'm completely honest, I'm not sure what it is. I like the way the colors blend, and the depth of the... Actually, I have no idea what I'm saying. It makes me feel uneasy. Like when you're alone in the dark, lying in wait, and the cold wind brushes across your face like the kiss of death. Huh. You are a complicated individual, Aid Masani. You bet your sweet Asari ass. I'm sure that relationship's gonna go further, that's for sure. Okay. Where else have we got people? So, you're leading the Grissom Academy students. Yeah. Is that a problem? Just a surprise. Your psych profile suggested you were mainly interested in yourself. You're telling me I'm only interested in myself? <laughs> oh, that's just fucking perfect. Did it occur to you that maybe I'm trying to grow as a goddamn person? Oh, I could tell you were growing. I assumed it was whatever that is you're wearing. Oh, these? Well, yeah. They were strapped down with a leather belt before. It's kind of a stupid move to show off your rack in the middle of a maximum security prison ship. I never had the pleasure. You'd never survive. You might break a nail. You have no idea what I'm capable of. You're a spoiled rich girl cheerleader. Victim. Test tube clone princess. I think it's past your bedtime. Oh, did I hit a nerve? I didn't get to read your psych profile. Ladies, I see we've all gotten enough to drink. Relax, Shepard. I'm not gonna smear the walls with her this time. And I couldn't possibly think of anything worse to do to her than that haircut. Hey, cheerleader, my hair and I have been fighting fruits and marauders on the front lines of this war. Meanwhile, you got your big bubbly butt kicked by some guy with a sword. You see, Shepard? Best of friends. Best of friends, oh my god. Support conflict, support friendship. I have to support Miranda in this? I like their conflict, to be honest. Ah! Honestly, I thought it might help if you two just kissed and got it over with. What? I mean, this is all just sexual tension, right? Two powerful biotics, forceful personalities, confident in their sexuality. You are shitting me. Oh my god. I'm ready to record. I'm pretty sure there's a market for this. Kasumi, I will find you and I will hurt you badly. Ugh. I need another drink. One for me too. No ice. Supporting the friendship worked out pretty well. Don't worry, Shepard. The cheerleader and I are just messing around. You sure? You two seem pretty serious. Nah. She fights better when she's pissed off. I'm just trying to keep her primed. Probably true from Miranda, actually. Any around the corner here? Nope. So I guess most people have migrated Here's upstairs. 
I've had a few. What are they going on about? Just talk. I'm sure you've got a few stories to tell. Almost a thousand years. I'd like to hear them. And then I could tell you about my... Jesse. Oh, Jesse was beautiful. Once you've experienced a love like that. Did you and Jesse have children? Oh, no. Jesse was my rifle. But also my best friend. You know, Zaid, there's nothing wrong with silence between two friends. Oh, got it. <laughs> It's just creeping her out a little, basically. Jacob's not working out. I wonder if he's off fighting Krogans or something. This party hasn't really turned into anything crazy yet so far. Maybe I should invite more. Trainer, may I ask you a question? You could ask me anything, Edie. When you believed me to be a simple VI, you made comments about my voice. Oh no. Should I find someone else to be? No, 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 I wanted to ask you about, uh, weren't you saying something about the Normandy's drive core? Uh, no. Could you? I wish to understand why you find my voice sexually attractive. Oh, that was a while ago. I can't even remember what I said exactly. She does. Would you like me to play back my recordings of your statements? Told you. Tolly, please stop helping. What's wrong, you two? I am asking Specialist Trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. This is a really good cheese, Shepard. I put some in through the filters. Is it organic? On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, uh, there's a context there that... Uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement, and uh, I didn't know you were an AI. <laughs> There's some kind of herb in the cheese that I can't quite place. Is it sage or basil? Anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and... Really? My diagnostic suggested that you were genuinely aroused. It's really rare to get herbed dextro cheeses. The Turians almost never bother. You have diagnostics. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, good lord. Wait, this is dextro cheese, right? Kila, did I forget to scan the cheese? This is why I don't drink. Fair, spare, trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was... At the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie, I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in satin sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. Don't mind me. I'm just going to run a toxin treatment program. So I don't die. Okay then, Tally. What an awkward conversation. Don't die. I'm just going to sit here quietly and hope someone changes the subject. Awkward. Awkward. Indeed, indeed. Where are the others? How many bedrooms does this place have? What on earth? There's quite a few. Why is Kasumi randomly appearing, straddling the bed? That's the oh, real question. That was mortifying. Tell me about it. You need not be embarrassed. Sexual attraction is natural for organics. And given your orientation and interest in synthetics... We can... We can stop talking about this whenever you like. I practically poisoned myself with cheese trying to change the subject. If you are interested, I have a list of extranet sites involving romantic relationships between organics and synthetics. No! No, 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 no! You can't even... No! 
Oh, okay, sure. Send it my way. Oh. God, poor Tali. I feel really sorry for her. No one's in this room. Where's Rex gone? Is he back and still up the balcony? Ah! Absolutely. Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. Oh, shit. No, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. <sighs> Only a little. Maybe. I'm just saying. <sighs> what I'm trying to say is... I mean, check out these guns. Biotics can't give you this kind of fine instrument. The peak physical form that you see before you. Okay, you work for it. I get that. I mean it. Check me out. Is there more to your argument? Come on in closer. Don't be shy. <laughs> yeah, don't be shy. Oh, the awkwardness. Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You go in there, James? Commander, just listen. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? A person can improve their physique, but biotics, they are what they are. And what about our poor friends stuck with flawed implants? Wait, what? You're not talking about me, are you? <laughs> I mean, I may be L2, but I've worked very hard. And now I can read. Really? That's... no. That's a bit strange. Okay, okay, maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Vega. Hey, Liara. Check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Wait, we're still talking about combat, right? Hilarious. Just hush and do some sit up. Kasumi. Just looking. <laughs> uh, goddess. Support physical or support biotics? Oh no, why do I have to choose? Why do I have to choose? James, this is a no-brainer. Biotics win hands down. We're talking about harnessing dark energy here. Yeah, I hear you. Look around you. That had to be an argument you couldn't win. It's okay, man. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. Okay, more drinks, snacks, help yourselves. Hey! Need me to do anything? Uh, food run, change the music, check on ice. I need you to relax and have a good time. Okay, you're the boss. Uh, hey, maybe I'll cook something. Caden, just relax. Actually, personally, it sounds like he's relaxed too much. It sounds like he's the most drunk guy around next to Tali, I guess. Worst planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre-war? Pre-war, life-bearing worlds only. I'm going with Tarif. Garden World, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. I will see your Tarif and raise you Azoria. Home of toxic spores and athletes long. Neither of you'd last a day on Tuchanka. And Tuchanka supports life. I think you meant to say consumes. That's the point. It's got critters that'll rip your guts out. Well, assuming it's a crash in the Kodiak, I'll have my arms locker. Bring on the wildlife. Hey guys, talking shop? No worries, this is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? The weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? <laughs> Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot? That's no good. I mean, what if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always train. Pilots are warriors too. You know what this is? It's a man emergency. Take this kid out back and make him do target practice. Exactly. Some range time will fix you up. Right, Commander? 
You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? Oh man, I want to support Cortez. Uh, just in the hope that they actually have a scene. Joker, I'm surprised at you. What about the collector attack? The bridge can get dangerous. Hey, they totally proved my point. If I'd fired off a shot then, I would have been mobbed. The real weapon is your brain. Take that away, you got nothing. It still would have been nice to have a little backup at the sushi bar. You know, there's a combat simulator on the Citadel. Hell no. Maybe a shooting range if we're not letting this go. Maybe. But not while I'm wasted. Or hungover. Hungover is the perfect time to train. Makes you angry at every loud noise. Cortez, you're on. If you're in condition to take me there, you can. But tonight, you gotta match me shot for shot. That sounds interesting, but I'm not gonna get to see it. Great party. I'd better see you out on the dance floor later. We'll see. Seems that Glyph appeared there as well. Talk to Glyph is an option. You can't come in either. Stop asking. <laughs> it seems like we're getting lots of random people and Grunt's just turning no, everyone away. Keep moving. We're keeping this a private party, okay, Grunt? Your guests appear to be enjoying themselves, Commander. What shall I do now? It's time to dance. Let's turn up the music and get some people dancing. Very good, Commander. I have had little opportunity to use my bounce and spin functionality. So we're hanging out again, but there's no one dancing. Jeff. Yes, E.D. At social events like this, it is customary to dance with friends or loved ones. Would you dance with me? It's gonna take a lot more than a polite request to make that happen, Edie. I have recordings of you talking in your sleep that would make for a highly amusing extranet video. Okay, that's cheating. So he won't dance with you, huh? Hello, Shepard. You will not. Well, I will. <laughs> Seriously, though, don't go there. Well, then maybe you should dance with her. Other people are dancing, Jet. Yes, they are. And I am sitting here enjoying my drink. Oh, come on. Joker. No. Come on. No. Seriously? Ugh, fine. There they go, Joker with the moves. Dancing during wartime wastes precious energy. Can't dance myself. I move like a greased one-legged varin. <laughs> Not a pretty picture. What are they at? All defending something? What's going on over here? Shepard! Found something to shoot. Yeah, I can see that. It's okay, we're all professionals here. Some of us with no depth perception, but it's fine. Don't worry. This happens at Krogan parties all the time. And yet I'm still not comforted. Probably best I walk away now. As you wish. It probably is best indeed. Don't be shooting those bottles, yo. That'd be wrong. Oh my god, look at them go! Right, we'll join the dancing people in a bit. Hey, where's some up here? Could not. Could you? You've seen Biotics in action. I could float you off this balcony without breaking a sweat. Oh, I know you could, but do you have the cojones to actually do it? Any of you? <laughs> what a guy. Buckle up, brother. Balls? 
You got it, Vega. Okay, let's see him do this. Shepard, what's up? Just demonstrating a little biotic supremacy. You okay, James? Yeah, this is trippy. I'm kind of buzzing all over. Exactly. Nice, right? I can feel that way on a whim. Do you find it relaxing? Uh, kinda. Among other things. Looks good on you. You're being so gentle, Liara. Can I have a turn? Careful. I need my full crew back when the night's over. Okay, you've had your fun. Put me down now. Come on, let's dance. What on earth just happened there? <laughs> you can't just... Look at James go, Vega. He's got the skills. Miranda's dance is kind of weird. Caden's is probably what I do in real life. Yes, I can dance, not really. Actually, I'd probably be more Jacob, personally. Uh, Liara's is random, and these two are just what the hell. Wonderful party, Shepard. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Glad you came. Strange to see this place. Perfect, really. It is, yes, but it's just weird. Hey, Shepard. Hmm. 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 So, hmm's all you say from now on. Okay, then. Right, uh, it's hard to track down Kasumi at any time here. We know that the rest of them seem to be... Why is this closed off? Then the rest of them seem to be dancing downstairs. Kasumi? I can hear weird coughing then. Grunt? Grunt? You okay? What? Yeah. I got five credits. Excellent. Go back to sleep. <laughs> Grunt was the first one to get completely drunk. Okay then. Well, the party's progressing. That's for sure. Woo you should bring out those moves more often, trainer. You and I dancing at the same time. Too dangerous. We'd light the room on fire. This is unexpected. And fun. I'm always amazed humans can dance with the way your legs bend. The way our legs bend. Yes, you and the Asari. I'm surprised you don't tip over. I don't tip over until I've found company, dog legs. Till then, watch and learn. Exactly. Hell yeah! <laughs> Go for it! <laughs> <laughs> Captain on deck! Has she always been like this? Shepard is saving the galaxy. You have to forgive a few eccentricities. It's very enthusiastic. It is impressive. Hey, that's my girlfriend. <laughs> oh, damn it. I almost kept it straight. What is she doing with her arms? <laughs> good to see some things don't change. Well, I like it, Commander. It's good to see you cut loose now and then. Thank you for all your loyalty and support. Oh, the crazy people. What do you got going on? Take a group photo? I guess we should do that. Dancing is awesome. Hey, everyone. Come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way. Make way. Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay. Everyone say Normandy. Normandy!
look who's here. Uh, yeah, I hung out a lot of places last night. Your upper body, your lower body, pretty much all the parts in between. Torians certainly don't lack for a sense of direction. And you don't lack for places to get lost. Let's see if anyone else is up. Full armor, you say? Investigate the aftermath. Gain some war assets here. Did we, uh, break anything last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here. Calibrated. <laughs> yeah, okay. Maybe I should just stop saying that word. But only if Liara stops saying, By the goddess. <laughs> Good thing this place has extra bathrooms. Miranda takes forever to do her hair. You'd think with her jeans, she wouldn't need to. Was someone making tea? I could use some tea. The apartment seems so quiet now. The apartment seems so quiet now. So some repetitive at Samara, you're meditating? Nice spot for it. Shepard, good morning. I want to thank you for inviting me here. Seems we got something here. Return to the Normandy. So that's all we've got left, it seems. It was good to see everyone again. It was good indeed. Grunt didn't sleep there, it seems. I am going to die. Hangover? I didn't know you could go through that many toxin filters in one night. Do I have a tattoo? I remember something about a tattoo. Probably Vegas. Don't get me wrong. Great party, but... Ugh, yeah. Mm. I'll just be here. Right here. Forever. Okay then, Tali. I hope you feel better soon. Let's keep investigating the aftermath. And find some things for Garrus to calibrate, I guess. The beer bottles everywhere. Oh, Javik. Oh my god, Javik's... Oh, is it time to rule the galaxy now? Kneel before Javik. I had a dream. 50,000 years had passed. It was horrible. I was alone. Primitives had evolved. They ruled the galaxy. Solarians, Turians, and the Asari. There was one, Liara. She had those eyes and that voice. She was blue. No, no, it was just a dream. Smell primitives. Oh, it was no dream. You okay there, Yavik? Oh, you, you'll get through it, I'm sure. But it seems that he might like the hour a fair bit. Kazumi! Morning, chef. You went all out with the breakfast supplies. I didn't know you could get real milk on the Citadel. I had some. Thought it was soy. I'm not really lactose intolerant. I just don't put up with lactose's stupid drama. In case I don't see you again, thanks. That was a lot of fun. It was. Seeing the crew in a different light. Hey, Commander. Hell of a night. So I've managed not to throw up. Feeling pretty good about that. Oh, if everyone could just not talk so loudly, that would be great. Or close the cupboards too loud. Or walk too loud. You know, just just think quiet thoughts. Been a while since I hit the hard stuff. About time. You live past 700. You start paying for a night like that the next morning. Huh. Uh, uh. He's not feeling too well, and the picture up on the wall there, amazing. Bet that became someone's background. Now that was a great time. There's coffee. Who wants coffee? I want coffee. More coffee? Am I being too loud? You still drunk? Morning, Shepard. I had a lovely time last night. 
I see everyone survived the festivities, more or less. Mmm, good tea. Mmm. Okay, who wants eggs? Liara, eggs? Trainer. Esteban, eggs? Joker, where is that guy? Caden, here's some eggs to go with that coffee. Rex, buddy, eggs? Tally? Ah, she'll definitely want eggs. Javik, man, you gotta try my eggs. Anyone else? Miranda? Shepard? Eggs? Eggs, sir. Shepard? Eggs. I think I broke my head on something last night. Bathroom is all cleaned up, Shepard. Good as new. Got to know. Shepard. Shepard. We're still missing at least one person, are we not? If not more. So, last night, I didn't do anything, did I? I'm checking extranet sites. No hits yet, so maybe I just imagined that last part. I'm almost sure someone was recording us, though. Uh, might be me. Oh, I should probably talk to Edie. Or, alternatively, I should never talk to Edie ever again. Alternatively, that might be a good idea. Might not be too bad. Well, how else are we missing? Oh, Jacob's... Oh, look at this. The perennial exercises. Shepard. I was just going to lift some weights. Want to join? I feel fantastic. How about everyone else? You handle your liquor well. 1085. 1086. 1087. Shepard? Hey. You look like shit. And you're missing the handrail a little bit there, Jack. You know the best part of an overcharged biotic amp? No hangovers. Even normal biotics get hangovers, but I can drink until I puke and still wake up just peachy. That was fun. You guys even kept up with me there for a while. Hey. I completely miss Saeed here. Where is the guy? Aha! The last few. Some neighbors came by last night to complain about the noise. I put their bodies in the building incinerator. That was a joke. Yeah, we did get that bit. I have nothing else to report. I recommend breakfast. Mm, morning, Shepard. Hope you slept well. Slightly wondering where everyone slept, to be honest, but I guess there's enough surfaces. Oh, I would have thought all those tequila shots with James would have prepared me for last night. What a night. We should never end it. Thanks, Shepard. No problem, Cortez. And one last person to speak to. Shepard, good to see you up. Hope I didn't wake anyone up with my snoring. I go like a buzzsaw since I got my nose broke. By the way, you're almost out of bacon. Our bacon, anyway. There's still some of that dextro shit in the freezer. I saved you three strips. Figured it was fair payback for all the times you saved mine, right? Shepard? Shepard? Shepard indeed, Zaid, and as the party comes to an end, it seems a fitting ending for the Mass Effect 3 series as a whole, so I'm going to leave it here. However, I'd like to point out that within the Citadel DLC and within the Mass Effect 3, or the Mass Effect series as a whole, there are so many more little scenes and little tidbits you can find, so I implore you, play it for yourself, enjoy, thank you for enjoying my Let's Play of the game, however, and as we look at this lovely picture, we'll go on to the final scenes. See you around, guys. Duty calls, huh? Even with a hangover? Yeah, there's still a war on. Unless the Reapers are on shore leave, too? I'm guessing they're not. Round everyone up, pass out the aspirin, and have them report to the Normandy. You got it.
so... I guess it's back to the fight. At least we threw one hell of a party. Probably the last one. That doesn't sound like my girl. You'll find a way to win. And when this is over, I'll be waiting for you. Best times of my life were spent on that ship. Been a damn good ride. <laughs> the best. <laughs>